Hello, friends and fellow adventuring builders. Okay, now we have a little bit more to do here. So I looked up, I was curious what uh, enabled uh, certain things. It looks like the warehouse is linked to our bank, which was linked to our ability to... Um, basically, I, I've, I've seen the uh, money as being tied to the resources, but I don't think they are. I feel like... The, uh, yeah, we built one of these already. Okay, that was good. That gave us an economy of 50. Now, uh, increased town storage, right. Oh, so do I, oh my gosh. Do I just need to build another one of these? Is that the deal? Oh my goodness. If that's the deal, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, now if I were to just continue building, Can I build another one? <laughs> and uh, I'll build... Okay, I'm curious now. Because those at least give me economy points, so that's not a complete waste. Yes, that just bumped me up to 12k. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at myself like, what? So that is what I needed to do. So that is going to allow me to get the resources now to build the bank, which will then give me the ability to um, really push uh, <laughs> uh, our economy. So that's going to get, we need the bank built to get the economy. It's all tied together. My gosh, I can't believe it. Okay, well that's all that was. That's astounding. I was, it didn't occur to me that, uh, like I wasn't looking close enough at the text of what the, the warehouse did. I may have at some point, but I certainly wasn't paying enough attention or didn't remember so anyway I'm glad we got that resolved that was really driving me nuts so now that uh, I, if anyone told me the answer by the way I appreciate it thank you I have uh, I just continued recording here I looked it up in between I was like okay I had best figure this out because that seems like a, the thing holding us back at this point um, so now that we have the warehouse and we have that that's a really interesting one I could see if you didn't notice that what the buff on that thing was, uh, it, it'd be easy to bypass it. So we had just passed another um, uh, instant here of, uh, of tax collection, so we lost a whole pile more money. But that's this is good, because we'll have this sorted out, I think, for the next round of tax collection. We will be laughing. We will be doing good. Now, I'm curious here as well, I want to go talk to confirm that we finished up this quest with Buddy that wanted all the bombing stuff. I don't recall if we in fact did finish that. He wanted quite a bit of black powder. I don't even know what we have at this point. Now that we have black powder production, or whatever it is, hopefully this is a thing we can resolve. But at any rate, there's resources over here, so we'll go and uh, talk to this person and then come get the gold and all that stuff down there. This is, it's all, actually I'll go get this first. It's all going to work out. I'm very excited though. I'm very relieved that we got that sorted so I can build the bank. So I think what we needed was like 9,000 or something for the bank, if I'm not mistaken. And we seem to have a good like engine going here, so I feel like we're going to be able to get it reasonably soon. Um, that's it? Okay. Let's open for more. Did we get you everything you needed? It, this dude seems like he's stocked. Okay, he doesn't need any. Right. Okay. That's good. And I was thinking it would do something for us, and it didn't. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, how are we looking here? I don't think there's anything else for us here, especially. Maybe we'll go look around the backside here. I kind of plundered all the gold that was in the, uh, the mystery forest. Let's see. Oh, here's some rocks. I will take 40 rocks. Absolutely. The wolves are going to stay clear. They see the pickaxe. So, uh, okay, see, yeah, we opened this up. Now, is it still showing? Okay, good. It is showing as a, a thing that's been opened. Now, we did have that other location that also could have used a bombing. I'm trying to remember where that was. I feel like that was a thing. I don't know if I tried that yet. So... We'll make our way around here. 
Okay, that's 2,000 gold. That's good. Yeah, see, we're rolling on the... Uh, the rest of the stuff seems to be accumulating quite nicely. The gold is the one thing that does seem to be a problem all the time, so it's good we're just manually going out and fetching this as we wander around. Well, we'll get more than that. We'll take this. Oh, there's some more campers out here. No, I'm going to stay, stay the course. Stay the course. We really want that bank. Okay, here's a few piles of stuff. This is good. I have to find all the other locations that uh, Libby can go and do the races. Or is it magic? No, it's magic. Yeah, see, look at these these ghost critters over here. Just taunting me. Just taunting me. I know we're going to, like, barrel along once we get past this little point. I think that it's interesting. It's a thing that keeps you motivated in a game, but also, like, maddening. Because you're like, I know I'm so close. Alright. There we go. I, you know, I don't. I feel like I'm probably not going to just manually get these resources. I think I'm going to continue exploring around. And we're just going to basically, I think, accrue the resources. Because it's a lot of resources. Not the pace that we get them. Especially not here. We need to be out in the dusk and woodlands or something. So our, our tax base is good. Uh, that's not a thing I'm concerned about at the moment. I think we're, we're doing fine on that. Oh, a little bit far away. We have 284 people. So yeah, I think there's this, now there's a quantum jump that's going to happen. As soon as we can build a few of these things, then we can start learning other things and maybe we'll open up all that military stuff. Which sounds like a dreadful So I don't know that we want to do that. Do we really want to do that? Okay. Got the trees. What else we got going on around here? There's a lot of camps around here. I feel like, yeah, there's probably a whole pile of, uh, oh, I think I see some ores. Do I? Is that just campers? Uh, may have been campers. They're not the same thing. You can't mine campers. Don't do it. Feels like there should be, I, I, I probably haven't scanned this area well enough yet either. I'm betting there's some goodies hiding. I see a switch up on top of that fence. Interesting. Have to remember that. I won't. But it'd be good to. Um, let's see. Well, that's... Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of people around here, but I still need to get... Uh, still need to open up some housing options. Okay, let's cut these three trees down, then we'll switch back over, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can bring... Uh, Actually, uh, Libby's probably already out here. Let's see. Out wandering about. Or magic, I should say. I always get confused which one I named which. Alright, so we're at like almost 3,000 each of those. Okay, let's, uh, where am I? Where am I? Eh. Oh, right, at edge of something. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, there was a lot of, like, little spots here. Here we go. Teleporter right here. Beautiful. Okay, let's let's go to a tra location, and let's go over by Breezy River Farm. No, just me. Okay. So let's try this out here. See if we can crack open some hidden secrets. I don't know, I feel like this might be in a spot where I can't get it already. Did I do the zone? <laughs> I don't feel like I did. I feel like there should be some more stuff out here. No, that's you know pain in the rear location. There's nothing else around this. Did we do all of this, really? Well, that's fine if we did. There's more trees already over here. I don't want to call uh, Hodge lazy, but yeah, oh bummer, really. 
Okay, let me up. Okay, fine. All right, that's that. Okay, let's uh, head back over. I thought you just cut these down, bud. Did you not see these? Is that what happened? Or you were like, no, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Yawns loudly. Okay. That's, uh... Taking us to 4,000 on trees. That's pretty good. So let's pop over and see what our build requirements were now. Oh, 4.3 thousand. Excellent. Okay. Let's see here. Let me... Uh, let us build ourselves the bank when we can. I need 7,800 gold. Okay, that's the deal, is I need gold and I need stone. Four, oh, I'm almost enough stone. I need gold is what I need. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Let's, uh... Where's my teleporter? It's over here. Oh, here's the speaking of gold. I will take it. I feel like the Duskin or the Virgil Pines is the gold zone for the for this character. Although I feel like we also might have plundered it entirely, so I don't know. But here's a couple piles. I will take them. So we don't even need wood. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm going to bother spending my time collecting it. And we'll just let it happen. Yeah, I'm not going to... Oh, here's another one. Okay, this is good. This is good. And I see more gold over there. Oh, there's lots of gold. Okay, this is our little gold zone. Beautiful. So we'll head back over the bridge and go fetch some gold. Not so bad. I feel like the gold that I got previously might have all spawned in at this point. There's gold way down there. I, that's too far away. I'm not walking with this trundling. It's, this pace is just uh, painful. But let's come over and get this. I will follow the trail back over to the Duskin area. I see you, bear. I see you hiding there. So yeah, it's definitely, it's interesting, the um, the challenge in, in these games, like the idea that you, you can get hung up on a point. Uh, I, I do like the idea that nowadays, I mean, right from the menu, they link to the wiki for this game. Uh, where I was like, oh, okay, there we go, there's my information. Um, that is, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I... I'm very torn because I, I part of me is like, well, what's the point of puzzles in a game when you can just wiki them? And I get that people get stuck, and there's different um, ability levels on puzzles and stuff, depending, you know, partly on your age level and all kinds of things. So it would be a bit insincere of me to expect that you're just gonna either do them or not. Um, and I guess you could turn down, um, you know, settings on lots of things in games nowadays. It is, it's always weird now, the idea of getting hung up on anything in a game. Which is, uh, yeah, I think a very different experience. It's nice that you can, um, you know, choose to not get super hung up on stuff. And the idea that it would, it would impede your ability to enjoy a game. But it does, it renders the idea of the puzzle as a weird concept that it's interesting. I think in a game nowadays, I was reading something recently. I was talking about the, uh, the idea of like what motivates a player, um, and oh, there's some conversation on Twitter about this. With, yeah, I think game designers were chatting amongst themselves and thinking about like what what motivates the player. And there's been this long uh, accepted idea that it's about like little dopamine hits and about building a you know kind of Skinner box where we get in there and we're pulled in by getting little rewards and little things and it it drives the player but the question is is that it does that leave the player feel kind of bored and empty at a certain point if you no longer feel pulled in by what's going on in the game and i very much uh feel this way where i feel i'd rather have a good story that pull me through than uh rely on kind of the dopamine based 
uh, approach to things. So, uh, you know, I think of games that I've, I've enjoyed where I went through huge swaths of game that I, a lot of the game itself, I wasn't necessarily the keenest on, but I like the story. And a game example I would use uh, always would be The Witcher. Um, I'm not a fan of violence in games in general. It's not, as you can see, see by our channel, it's not the kind of game I gravitate, but I really like the story. And I, I really wanted to understand the story of that. Uh, and I enjoyed the game thoroughly. Um, despite, I think, the violence. And it was entirely because the narrative was a really big, interesting narrative. And as you completed chunks of the game, you really, it can, you wanted to find out the next little bit and the next little bit. And I played the game for the narrative. I played the DLC because of the narrative. That that was a game that, you know, relied heavily on those things and it paid out so well. Um, lots of games, I there's a lot of games I don't even finish anymore that uh, I don't play a lot, I don't play AAA games typically, uh, but someone gave an example of the Assassin's Creed games, of being, uh, you know, games that you're like, oh no, I didn't want to, no, I don't want to tame a bear, I'm not interested. Okay, you know what, let's, sure, let's try. Uh, let's, let's uh, touch, Pat will give us some trust. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're not winning this one. I need to use some buffs or something, I think. Um, yeah, see, interest, I get his interest, totally gets interest, but then we'll totally lose his trust. He's out of here. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, I didn't see that happening well. No, um, where's my crossing point? Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Covered in water. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, it, you know, a game like Assassin's Creed, where the narrative to, to me is not. I, I played it on education mode because I, I found the narrative just not didn't couldn't care less, and I really am not in it for the stabby. So I was in it just for the fun of like, exploring that whole environment because I think it's an amazing game environment. Um, the last couple, they're, they're both astounding, just you know from that perspective. So it's a weird thing, you know. For me, I, I would rather have story over a lot. Anyway, what I was getting at, long story short, was even in these these kind of games, I would much rather have a narrative. Like the narrative that starts this game um, with us, you know, helping all of these refugees. That's a really interesting narrative to start with. And then I don't know that I feel that there, the narrative is actually continued. I'm not sure what, you know, the story is we're continuing to build this town. But I guess after you get the feel good of helping, uh, it switches gears into the grind of um, doing and uh, then the helping becomes uh, a task less uh, more uh, infrequent you you f get the same feeling that you're actually uh, contributing in a meaningful way I guess as you, you build the town you should get that feeling as you wander around and you see all the life come to the town I do see that that makes sense at any rate it's a is a difficult challenge for game makers that's the kind of things I think about as I'm playing through these often. Um, it's whether or not, you know, games have the capacity to keep me in. And I think at the Stardew, Stardew Valley or even Staxel, games that have character and um, story that, you know, where my questing and my the, my purpose is tied to a really nice narrative. I'm way more prone to continue on with that. Okay, so we're almost, I think, with the stone, I think we're good. We need a little bit more gold. Then I think we're almost there. Uh, we have, we've got some more gold here. There we are. A little bit more. We're at 6,000 gold. So that, that actually came along a little bit quicker than I expected it would. At least for me. It, it went it was 6.2. It'd be nice if I just stumbled across some of the uh, piles of stuff I left laying around previously, but, you know, can't have everything. Oh, wow, we barely made that jump. Okay, there we go. We're at 6.3, 6.4. Oh, wow. Okay, 7.82. So with tax time, well, I guess we got a bump in ingredients? 7.82. We're at 9,000 on stone. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to leave the stone alone, I think, and just look for a little bit more ore. I don't think it will be left. That's good. Yeah, I'll get I'll get this down here. So that's excellent. And we're at seven thousand on the wood. Even if we don't need it, but you know it's happening. Okay, let's now. Sure, we'll take some passive stone. Hey, my dude. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to continue that way. Well, you know what? I may have already plundered this area too much. Oh no, there's gold. Okay. Never mind. I see several piles. This might be enough to take us over the, the top. Oh, very exciting to get a bank. <laughs> Again, I think this is the the one thing that's been driving me batty and the inner inability to get past that weird checkpoint and then get on with the rest of the game. That that's killing me. <laughs> okay. What is this this bank gonna look like here? What do we got? Courthouse. A bank. There we go. Seventy six hundred gold, four thousand stone. I'm gonna build uh you know what I'm gonna build there we go. Build a bank way over here. That takes us up to, uh, wow, okay. So I can build, is there a limit? Crown storage is plus a thousand for every one I build. Are you kidding me? So now I just need to build a multitude of banks. <laughs> and then I can build the courthouse. That gives us a huge quality of life jump. <laughs> okay, so the game is kind of unlocked at this point. So now next time I think we'll go and we'll buy off those guards and deal with all that stuff and zippity dippity yippity yeah. All right, it's coming along. Wow. At any rate, we will see you all next time then. Till then, bye-bye.